A while ago I bought myself this Infinite Air Portable Wind Turbine. Not only because its price was reduced, but also because charging USB devices through wind power just sounds awesome. So long story short, I tried it out and it works to some extent. But I think the original price tag of around 140 Euro is really not worth it. That is why I started searching for DIY wind turbine alternatives on Thingiverse and found the designer 3D Printable One, who not only created a 50 watt wind turbine, but also a smaller 5 watt version. At first sight, his documentation just blew me away, with its very detailed mechanical drawings and apparently even a wind simulation. So, needless to say, I wanted to print one for myself. Which is why in this episode of DIY or Buy, I will firstly properly test how the commercial wind turbine performs and afterwards I will 3D print, assemble and test the 5 watt wind turbine I found on Thingiverse. In order to determine whether it makes sense to DIY such a mini wind turbine or whether we should stick to the commercial solution instead. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, who keep producing PCBs no matter whether there's a holiday or the outbreak of a dangerous virus. All their stuff is healthy and their factories work well like always. So why not upload your Gerber files today to get your own professional PCBs? Let's start off with the buy version, which comes in this little carriage bag. After emptying it, I opened up the foot of the turbine, attached the three blades to the propeller and then screwed the completed structure onto the generator. After then securing it onto the foot and adding the included wire, our commercial wind turbine was basically complete. So I plugged a USB tester into its USB outlet and hooked that up to a power bank of mine in order to see whether the generator does create sufficient power while spinning the propeller with my hands, which was not quite the case. That is why it was time for me to go outside and test the wind turbine in a real life situation on top of my garage roof. But as you can see, the German weather was currently not in the mood to work in my favor, which was a shame, but not a problem since I can do a proper indoor test with more or less controlled conditions with one of those. A leaf blower with adjustable wind speeds. It claims to be able to create a maximum speed of 300 km per hour, which is more than enough for the mini wind turbine, since it claims to output 7.5 to 10 watts at speeds of only 24 km per hour. So I basically tried out a few different angles and wind speeds. And as you can see, the wind turbine can truly charge my power bank. But not with as much power as I hoped for. Here is a problem though. The DIY wind turbine will later use a stepper motor as a generator, in combination with only a rectifier circuit to create a DC voltage. The commercial wind turbine, however, must use additional electronics in order to output a constant 5 volts. Which means there must exist some additional losses. And thus we cannot properly compare the two turbines just yet. To solve that problem, I tried opening up the commercial turbine. Which was pretty much impossible to do without the help of some power tools. But as soon as I was in, I immediately noticed the additional electronic circuits and thus removed it from the motor output wires. Now the shape of the generator seemed rather strange to me, but due to its three wire arrangement and the voltages I measured with them while spinning the generator led me to believe that this was some kind of BLDC motor. Which is why we need this kind of rectifier in order to turn its three phase AC voltage into a DC voltage. So after adding the rectifier to the generator output wires, confirming that we truly got a DC voltage 
and turning it all back into a proper wind turbine, I used my power meter, which I showed you how to create in a previous video, in combination with a 6 ohm resistor to find out how much power the generator can truly output. At a power level of 3 for the leaf blower and at a distance of as close as possible to the blades, the wind turbine created around 300 milliwatts of power, which will be our reference value for the DIY wind turbine. And with that being done, the testing of the commercial solution was complete. And thus I downloaded the files for the 5 watts 3D printable wind turbine, which not only came with tons of 3D models, but also an instruction manual, which was pretty much only technical drawings and a bill of materials list. So according to this list, I used the given layer heights and infill densities of each component in order to slice it with the Prusa slicer software. Afterwards, my 3D printer pretty much did all the work. But let me tell you that since this build requires quite a lot of 3D printed parts, it will take a while. And also, you need to add an M5 nut into the blades of the wind turbine while printing. Otherwise, things will not work out later on. But anyway, as soon as the printing was done, it was time for the assembly. So I started with the structure assembly, which required those parts. I began with inserting two ball bearings, about which you can also find information in the bill of materials lists. Then I added an adapter to the NEMA 11 motor, attached it to the main structure, added the gears to the system and temporarily closed it all up. Next was the rotor assembly, which required the most parts. Now I do not want to say too much about this part, because I honestly feel like I did something wrong with the blade system assembly since in the end it should be able to feature a PVP or passive variable pitch system, but it seems like mine did not work that well. But nevertheless my rotor came together as well and worked pretty well in the end. Next was the tower assembly, which apparently uses a standard home drain pipe with an inner diameter of 64.5 which is certainly not the standard here in Germany, because it does not exist. So instead I 3D printed such a pipe and thus got all the components for the assembly. All I had to do was to push the pipe onto the base, insert another ball bearing, attach that part on top of the pipe and insert the tower shafts. And finally it was time to insert the propeller into the motor structure, secure the bigger gear to its shaft with grub screws, attach the shaft nut, push the tower shaft into the head, close the head up with the nacelle, use an M6 threaded rod to stick everything together and ultimately add the fin to the end of it. After then adding the last missing blade, because I destroyed one during the assembly, Closing the propeller up with its nose and screwing the foot to two pieces of wood for a bit of extra stability, my DIY wind turbine was basically complete. And by turning the propeller we can not only see how the gears rotate, but also by attaching oscilloscope probes, how the stepper motor outputs two voltage waveforms. So after adding the rectifier circuit to the motor wires and adding the same power meter with 6 ohm resistor to the system just like before, it was time to do the leaf blower testing. And as you can see by utilizing the same wind speed at around the same distance, we achieve a maximum output power of around 100 milliwatts, which is certainly lower than with the commercial turbine. The reason is that the stepper motor is much smaller and also uses an additional mechanical gear system which wastes a bit of power, while the commercial solution directly lets the motor spin. Also the DIY version takes a long time to build, but then again it implements more useful features than the buy version, 
is easier customizable, costs less and teaches you and also taught me quite a lot about mechanical engineering. That is why for me DIY and buy are both this time the winner, since it truly depends on what you're looking for in a wind turbine, since each version offers its own advantages. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hitting the notification bell. Stay creative and I will see you next time.